There is a new Gutenberg block with superpowers and a terrible name. It's the query loop block. So what the heck is a query loop? I'll explain it all in this lesson. For years, the query loop has been an essential tool for WordPress theme builders. It's a bit of code that allows a theme designer to specify what content should be displayed on a page. Now that the query loop is available in block form, anyone can start creating custom content loops. In this tutorial, we'll look at adding a query loop block to a post. For now, the query loop is a valuable tool that will help you enhance your posts in ways that weren't possible before. But when full site editing is available later this year, the query loop block will be a much bigger deal. So I'm in WordPress. I have got a new post here. I've got several paragraphs of text that have already been created. I'm gonna do something that was next to impossible to do in the past. I'm going to add a dynamically generated list of posts uh, randomly in the middle of my content. So I'm gonna create a new paragraph here, and uh, I'm going to create a highlight block that shows the three most recent posts from a specific category. Uh, and those are gonna be generated uh, in the middle of my post here. So to do this, I'm gonna open up the block sidebar and I'm gonna search for the query loop. There's the query loop. Below are some recommended block patterns to help me get started quickly. I'm just gonna add the query loop by itself. I'm gonna close that sidebar for now. And so this is my query loop block and we already see a preview of a recent blog post with the title and the featured image and an excerpt. Now I could choose from a template or block pattern uh, or I could start blank. So if I choose the grid view here, you'll see I can see all of those block patterns actually in this block, and I can choose a block pattern that is closest to what I want to start working with. I'm going to go back and start blank. And so what's going to happen is the query loop is not only going to pull in specific content that I tell it to from, in this case, a category of posts, uh, it's also going to have to display the content. It's going to have to display the title and potentially the excerpt or maybe even the featured image as we saw a preview of. Uh, that is a template that will be applied to the content that I pull in. So there are two things going on here. There's the query loop, which pulls the data in, and then there's the query loop template, which displays it on the page. I'm going to go ahead and start with just the title and excerpt for now. And let me open up the outline so I can take a closer look at what I've got here. So I've got paragraphs above, paragraphs below, and I've got the query loop. I wanna make sure that's highlighted because I'm gonna make some changes to the actual loop. And then I've got the post template built into the query loop, which is showing me the title and the excerpt. Now what I wanna do here is click on the uh, color option for the query loop. With the query loop selected, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a different background color going to give it a gray color because this is a highlighted box in the middle of my content. I don't want people to get confused and think that this is a continuation of the paragraph above it. So that is um, just the raw data pulled in. Now I want to again go back to the block settings and choose. I could choose poster page. I could choose the order newest to oldest oldest to newest. I can choose whether or not I want to include or exclude sticky posts. I don't have any sticky posts, but I want to filter by category. I want to show the company news category. So I'm going to start typing a few characters. Then I get my autocomplete. I'm going to select company news. There it is. And so now this list of posts is filtered to just the company news. And that is the query loop is going out running a query against my WordPress database, pulling in only posts from this category. Now I've got some options on the toolbar. I can select how many items. It defaults to three, and that's good for me. I'm gonna go ahead and only display three items. Uh, you can do an offset if you wanna skip over one or more items. Uh, so maybe you're on a page and you don't wanna show the current post in the list. So you could skip, you could set the offset to one and that would skip over it. So this is a good start. I've uh, pulled in my posts from a specific category and I've got the post title and excerpt, but I wanna add 
uh, maybe the date and the featured image. And I can go ahead and add items to this template that's been generated automatically. So let me call up the block bar on the side and I'm gonna go search for post. And this shows me all the blocks that are related to post elements. Uh, these are things that I can use in the query loop to display specific attributes from a particular post. So let's start with the post date. There's post date. I'm going to go ahead and just pull that in and drop that right below the title. And I want to add the featured image, and I want to put the featured image above the title. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this in and position it above the post title. Now let me close the block selector there and reopen the list view. And you can see that from pulling those post blocks in, the post title and the featured image, or the post date and the featured image, I've added those to this template that defines how this query loop should be displayed. So the query loop has pulled in posts from a specific category. It's automatically created this template based on what I selected when I set up the block. And then I've been able to modify this template by adding additional blocks into that template, which are displayed for each item in the query loop, all three of my posts that I'm pulling in. And as long as I'm within this aspect, within the template aspect, I can move these around, select them and move them around uh, within the template. If I wanted to move the title, for example, above the featured image, I would just select one of the titles and then I can use the toolbar uh, navigation option to scoot it up over the, the next item. And then you see throughout this template, the title appears above the featured image. I'm going to go ahead and publish this, and then we can take a look at the published page on my website. There is my content, and then there is the query loop that I've inserted uh, with the template as I've modified it. And that is a quick introduction to the WordPress query loop block. It's new in WordPress. It's showing a lot of promise, but there will be even more that you can do with this block once we have full site editing available uh, in WordPress 5.9, which we expect to see by the end of 2021.